What is good with it, brothers? We're back out here. Um, just after work. I only brought Sticky 2. And we're at the same old spot, so you know, Canal. Just a favorite for me since it's the easiest for me to get to. Just ride the bus over here. Um, but yeah, we're really focusing on trying to get on a big snake head today. So I didn't bring the fly rod out, just make it a little lighter on my back and not get distracted with all the carp and the fly fishing. And um, so yeah, I'm just gonna be throwing this weedless fluke around and really these fish are pretty aggressive. So as long as I can get in front of them, I feel pretty confident I can buy a bite this afternoon. However, the hard part's figuring out where they are and getting your bait in front of them. Um, they're not up in the grass up there, that's for sure. But we got some thunderstorms rolling in here soon. Hopefully not. There's actually a flash flood warning right now. This is not a good idea. Uh, but I was itching to get out. I've had this idea for a while. Really want to get on these nice snake head that I've been seeing. And hopefully we'll be able to do that here today. So I'll let you know if we get into anything. And the bass came out and crunched the fluke out of the reed. Hell yeah, brother. That's a heifer. That was the sickest eat ever. I hope you got that. We're on a nice large mouse bass here. Oh, that's like a two pounder. That is a hoss out of this tiny creek on the fluke. Did exactly what I thought it would do. Just right when I came over the the cover of the like, whatever these are, hydrilla. And I just twitched the fluke, this nice bass just crushed it. I am ecstatic. I was hoping for a snakehead, but I take a large bass like this every day. This is awesome. Get another angle for you boys. And let this beauty go. I was gonna get a shot of me holding this fish up, but it's pretty tough in this area. So we're just gonna hit him with a see you later, buddy. See if we can get on another. <laughs> so this little guy chased my fluke in, which is the same size as him, so I knew he was pretty aggressive. So I just stuck the woolly bugger in his face. And this here is a green sunfish. Huge mouth for a panfish and a pretty little guy. Um, but at least we didn't get skunked. So we're a couple days after that last fishing trip. Um, we brought Sticky One. Gonna try to get on some carp as well. Uh, definitely still mainly targeting snakehead, but we're on a fish. Let's keep the ball rolling. God! Good bass came out of nowhere and obliterated the dinger. Let's see if he'll go for a round two. Now he's spooked. Figured it out though. I can't believe I didn't get him with that hook set. I wailed on him.
But we're figuring out a pattern, that's all that matters. That was a good eat. Alrighty boys, I'm throwing the yum dinger now and I think a snake had t-boned it and he's just playing with it. So I'm gonna let him eat it for a minute and set the hook. And that's exactly what happened. The smallest of the snake heads. But we got ourselves a fish. Just t-bone the yum dinger. And this is definitely the smallest snakehead I've caught by a large margin. Look how cute he is. A lot of people call these dragonfish. And this is a good one to handle to show off. So you can see this top dorsal fin is super far back. And it's just like a freaky looking little guy. But glad we got a targeted species. This one's probably like 12 inches long um, and yeah it's a pretty little water dragon look at the colors on him that was a gorgeous oh and now he's dirty I was about to say first fish we didn't get dirty but a dragon learned how to fly and got a nice seal later literally now I got five minutes to catch the bus so on to our next adventure.